back in the first half. And Michigan here, back around your own 10. So key to get that one first down at least, just to change field position a little bit. Particularly when you're into the wind, and this is a heavy breeze. Trailing by a touchdown, Michigan has the ball first down on the right hash. Henny back to throw. Looking, firing left, up in the air. Avant makes the grab. Knocked out of bounds by Jaron Hayes. End of the Michigan State sideline at the 37. That's a gain of 14. Good throw there by Henny. And a great catch. Out of American Samoa. He's from Pango Pango. Three wide for the Wolverines. Henny back to throw on second and 14. Looking. Now he takes off. He's up to the 35 and slides down at the 40-yard line. He got about six. So there you have it. Third down and eight. Henny under center. Drops to throw. Has time. Looks. Fires underneath. Crossing route. Preston's got it. Turns up field. First down. Out to the 48. Hauled down by Jaron Hayes. But Preston just used the speed to run away from him. Get that separation. Good three wide receivers for the Wolverines. And the Spartans jumped offside again. Flags down. Here comes Hart. Picking up the middle. He pulls away from two men. Now he's dragging a tackler. Maples from behind. Look at him carry him. Eight, ten yards downfield to the MSU 31-yard line. Roderick Maples could not grab hold of Michael Hart and drag him down. It looked like MSU was offside. On a defense. And they were. First down. What a run by Mike Hart. 25 yards. He gets it again on a draw. Is hit in the backfield. He breaks the tackle, spins through a hole, and gets about five yards out of the play. Brandon McKinney finally brought him down at the 20. He used to wear a blue uniform, wear number 20 and run like that, Jim. His name is Barry Sanders. Mike Hart doesn't have his breakaway speed. Henny to throw, fires near side. Edwards has it. He is hit from behind at the 20, fumbles the football. It goes toward the sideline. Michigan State recovers, but did they get it in bounds? They did. Eric Smith recovers the fumble. David Boss is down there arguing the case on Michigan's behalf, but it appears MSU will get the ball. Well, it was a good throw, clearly. And uh, the, the question is, with the ball OB, it oh. looks, it looks like, I, think, it, I think, Frank, if you even want to review it, and I think they're going to. They will because there's a TV timeout. I think that the question is, does the ball touch the side? I'm not sure it does, but it's again one of those plays where I don't think visually there's enough evidence to overrule it on the ground. Well, Jim on the replay. <laughs> Brandon Fields, the putter, holds. Morris sends it back. The ball's placed down. The kick is up. And it is through. It's good. A 19-yard field goal by Dave Rayner. And with 13.30 to go in the ball game, the Spartans have a two-score lead, 20 to 10. 9.03 to go in Ann Arbor. MSU leads by 10. Dowdell in the gun. Splits three receivers wide. And he's going to roll to his right, give on a draw, play to Cobb. Look out. Racing to his left. Open field to the 50s. Off to the races. Shazor chasing will never get him. Cobb down the sideline to the 10, to the 5. DeAndre Cobb, touchdown, 64 yards on the draw. And it's going to take a miracle for the Wolverines to come back now. We'll see if they've uh, got some magic in them when we come back. From Host Communications, you're listening to the Michigan Sports Network. Rainer to kick it off. Breston back deep with Mason. The ball bouncing down to Breston. Takes a high hop over his head. He grabs it back at the goal line. Heads the other way. He's got white shirts all over in front of him. He'll be tackled at the seven-yard line. Everything's going wrong for Michigan. Everything's going right for Michigan State. That's Simon down there again to stop Steve Breston. First things first. Get it out of there. Get a first down if you can. Henny in the gun. Has the snap. Sets the throw. Near side. Gets it to Braylon. He's got it at the 19. Knocked back by Roderick Maples, but he holds on to the ball. Under center. They're in the two-minute offense now. He turns left, gives the ball to Hart, trying to turn the corner. Gets a block out there from his tackle, Stenovich. Up the sideline to the 30, 31-yard line, and he's out of bounds. going to help, Watson, I can tell you. Back to throw goes Henny. Looking right. He fires toward the sideline to Avan. He makes the catch, tumbling out of bounds around the 42. Boy, does that kid have an arm. Oh, boy, to throw it that far from the left <laughs> hash to the right sideline. Now they come to the line. Breston to the right. Avant and Edwards left, and here's Henny to throw. He's going deep, airing it out left sideline. It's Braylon cutting inside of Maples to make the catch at the 11, and down he goes there. 
He adjusted to the ball, ran with Maples, and then at the last moment moved inside of him to make the grab at the 11-yard line. And that will be a gain of 47 yards. And Maples had him covered. Bart Braylon just made a play on the ball and out fought him for it. Six catches, 93 yards for Braylon Edwards, and he becomes a 1,000-yard receiver for the third straight year. Now Michael Hart around the left side on the sweep. Gets down to the eight-yard line. Tight end Eckers on the right. Hart is the only setback. Henny looking at a four-man front. Drops to throw. He looks. He looks. He's going to run up the middle now and get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. And they'll settle for the field goal try. There was really nobody open. Ross Mann will send it back. It'll be a 25-yard attempt almost directly in front of the uprights. Finley puts it down. The kick is up. And the kick is good. So Michigan's back on the board. 6.27 left. The field goal of 25 yards by Rebus makes it Michigan State 27. Michigan 13 with 6.27 to play. Timeout. You're listening to Michigan football. Jaron Hayes is back deep at the 10. The Spartans have 10 other men between the Michigan 45 and their own 45. Rebus will kangaroo kick it. And this ball's loose, and Michigan recovered. Brian Thompson fell on the football. One of the Spartan players dove for it, and it got away from him, and Brian Thompson recovered for the Wolverines. And they get it back inside their own 40. Well, they chose to kangaroo kick it instead of Pooch kicking over the top, and a Michigan State Spartan player tried to field it on the short hop. It bounced out and Thompson made the play. I believe it was Jeremy Scott, number 32, who dove for it, Jim. 26 to go, they trail by two touchdowns. Henny under center, drops the throw, look out. Big blitz, screen left to Mike Hart. Got it up the sideline, 40-45, oh, yes. face mask. Boy, he almost got his helmet ripped off sure did. from behind. Hart is up near midfield. Is he okay? It was Avant, Preston. And Edwards not in there right now. And here's Henny to throw. He's going deep, right side. Oh, that is Edwards out there. He goes up in the air at the goal line, and he's got it for a touchdown. He took it away from Jaron Hayes. 6-12 to go, Jim, and they're only down by eight. 27-19, pending the extra point. That didn't take long. Well, it's it's a remarkable game, and I guess you never, it's ne- the old Yogi Berra. It's never over till it's over. And uh, that time, you give Braylon Edwards a lot of credit for going up and making a play on the ball. And I'd say give Chad Henney credit for throwing that thing up there to a covered man and letting his receiver make a play, because that's basically all it was. 36-yard touchdown they pass. They fought their way back to give themselves a chance. Brandon Fields kicking into the wind. He'll try to line drive it again, I'm sure. Michigan will rush eight. Fields running to his right, kicks it away. Breston comes up, grabs it on the 38, runs straight up the middle. Now stops, break to his left at the 50. He's dragged from behind. He'll go down at the Michigan State 47-yard line. And, uh, Mike Hart is in the ballgame. Henny up under center, David Boss. Gives to Hart on a delay. Comes up the middle, breaks left. Gets a block from Breston down the sideline to the 35, 30, 25, and out of bounds at the 21 of Michigan State. Now at the 21-yard line, trailing by seven. Henny under center, dropping to throw. Has some time, lofting it, right corner of the end zone for Braylon, up in the air, touchdown, Michigan! Do you believe this comeback? 2.59 to go. Braylon Edwards went up over five foot, nine inch Jaron Hayes and grabbed it away from him and now Garrett Rebus can tie the game with an extra point. Extra point so crucial to tie it now. Finley puts man snap down. The kick is up by Rivas. It's good, and the game is tied. 27 to 27. 2.59 to play. Timeout on the field. You're listening to Michigan football. They've got Engelman back there. They've got Shazer. They've got McClintock, of course, and Ryan Mundy. And here's Dowdell rolling to his right. Wants to throw it deep. Steps up and fires, and it is incomplete at the 25. A flag is thrown. Oh, my goodness. Pass interference on the defense. Number 29. Oh, my goodness. Automatic. It'll be a 52-yard try by Dave Rayner with no time left. Out of the hole to Brandon Fields. 
11 men up to try to block it. The snap placed down. The kick high enough but way short. It'll fall about five yards short in the end zone. So the Spartans get a crack at a win. But the wind takes a crack at them. And we'll go to overtime here at Michigan Stadium. I think everybody out here today would say got my money's worth and more. This has been a great college football game. And again, two traditional rivals. What a great stage for the state of Michigan.